Hey you guys, it's your girl Beauty with Mika and I have an empties video. By the way, if you're wondering about this look, I am testing out a new foundation. I have recorded this look for you guys. With everything going on, your girl finally got some free time because everybody is at home except my husband who still has to go to work. But I wanted to get some videos out. My family is doing good. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are staying healthy, well rested. I know being in the house is driving us crazy, but I feel like it's time. It's making us like God is saying like sit down reevaluate and we're gonna start 2020 over but let's go ahead and get started with these empties because as you guys know i did move i did not think that i would be saving empties in between our move but somehow we did and because now we have a bigger place i feel like i'm using more products so i may have to get a bigger container the first thing is this dr till's pure epsom salt because of the new bathroom that is strictly for the twins I have been using their bathtub almost every day <laughs> and when I tell you guys I love it it's like a deep soaking tub so I finished off my Dr. Teal's active charcoal um salts I love these I love the Dr. Teal's line so I have noticed that now I'm using more body products than ever before because we went from one bathroom to two so these are really good. I do have some Lush products and some other products that I'm going to continue to use, but I definitely plan to just repurchase a different one. Maybe not so much of this one. I will say with the active charcoal, it did help with a lot of the soreness on my body. It helped with a lot of the ease and the stress and the tension. So it did help like soothe it down in ways with the muscles. Now on to something else. Something else I wanted to finish and I was glad but I will not be repurchasing this. This is the Calgon Take Me Away Lavender and Honey Bath Beads. I was not really a fan of these and I don't know why and I realized it took me so long to finish these because I just did not care for them. Now wipes. Man, can we talk about baby wipes right now? Oh my god, the need, the supply for wipes. I am so glad that I am on like a auto shipment of baby wipes because we got three. Let's see, I'm pulling gently from here. Four. We have four packs and I only use the Up and Up brand baby wipes. I get auto shipment every eight weeks now with the twins. Remember I used to do every six weeks and then that became so much. So now we're doing auto shipment every eight weeks through Target and these give you a hundred per pack. So I'm going through about, I would say 800 packs of wipes, maybe every two to three months, which is good for us. So, so far I got four up in here. Now something I wanted to include and I finished this yesterday, shout out to Nina Renee. If you guys are not subscribed to her channel, I will post her link. You should know Nina Renee by now, but she got me back addicted to the soft scrub. When I was pregnant, I could not stand the smell of soft scrub cleaner, but I really went back. And even though now it's been almost four years, so I have twins, I cannot go down the laundry aisle. Like I hate the smell of the laundry aisle. It's one of those things that once I was pregnant, I couldn't stand it. And now it's like, as soon as I see, it, I'm like, just run. But this soft scrub, man, my nose will take it. So. I get mine at Target because usually they're like two for three dollars or two for six. But I did run out of the last two, so I definitely had to add this to my Target wish list. This is definitely a repurchase, hands down. It works so good in the tubs, the sinks, the toilet, everywhere. Girl, I squirt this on, let it soak, and then scrub it, and it's whew, so good. So shout out to Nina Renee because she got me. I got the one with the oxy, and I do like the one with the oxy because I do see it like. A little bit foaming and bubbling so if you're definitely into like cleaning products like myself or you definitely want to watch cleaning videos or anything inspirational uplifting definitely subscribe to her channel and tell her i sent you guys and you only need a little bit of this now something else that i recently i do shave under my underarms i wax other parts of my body but i have been using these for years and i will continue to purchase these these are the built sit the big silk touch you get 20 in a pack for like two bucks and i purchased these i use it to shave under my underarms um and it helps out so good so these are definitely a, a repurchase something that i won't repurchase again and i noticed that i'm gravitating more and more away from bath and body works but these were their aromatherapy what are these their shower steamers i didn't find that these did what it was supposed to do like especially when i was sick this one especially this one is the eucalyptus and tea it's supposed to have essential oils in it so you're supposed to put it in the bat in your tub in your shower and it's supposed to go directly like under where the water would um steam at 
I did that, but it didn't seem to evaporate as much. It seemed like it was just throwing powder in there. You get a little bit, and then after that, you didn't smell anymore. And the and the soak soaked down so much. It was like crumbled. So as soon as it, it felt like it was one of those bath bombs from Lush. Like as soon as it hits the water, it dissolves, and you didn't know nothing else. So that definitely won't be a repurchase. Some more chapstick. You guys know this is the only brand of chapstick I use besides the Laneige. And for some reason, this one's the moisturizing one. So I definitely keep these on hand. A hair oil that I really find I will not repurchase again. Now, I do like different hair oils. I like some things. But this one is, um, I think this one is more so great when I had longer hair. But I didn't have frizz even when I had longer hair. Tried it on London's hair recently because she gets frizz and it didn't work. This is the Cantu Anti-Frizz Oil and it's a soothing argan oil. It's supposed to help with frizz and flyaways. This won't be a repurchase. I think I purchased this at Target and yeah, I'm good on it. It didn't really do much. It felt like it was just oil sitting on top of your hair and it didn't like tame the frizz or smooth it out or anything. I found that there was better things that I liked that did better than this, what it was supposed to claim it's supposed to do. Now let's see. This is the Sephora Quick Dry Clean Dry Brush Spray. I love this stuff. I plan to purchase some more during the Sephora sale. This cleans your brush is so quick and easy. I wish they come out with a bigger size. This is two fluid ounces. I think it's about $14. So that's why I purchased these during the Sephora sale. But hands down, my brushes, I like even my like blush brushes, I could spot clean them before I leave off for work quick easy they're not wet they dry down so if you want something definitely get this let's go with bath and body this is the bath and body works raspberry and tangerine foaming hand soaps you guys know we use my husband hands down he loves these he loves the soaps so i do purchase um these just in our we purchase them and we use them in the bathrooms and in the kitchen so it really certain sense but these i know i'm going to continue to purchase the foamy hand soaps from bath and body works now, something I don't need, honestly, um, and you can use essential oils. This is the Dr. Chills Lavender Essential Oils uh, Moisturizing Body Oil. I find that this made the tub more slippery than it did anything. It wasn't like, it didn't like cling to my skin. It didn't do anything wow factor for me to go, okay, let me repurchase you again. This was like, okay, I tried you, but it was more cleaning than actually really getting the products used. Now, something else, um, you guys know I purchased two of these. So next time they go during a Ulta beauty sale, I'll purchase some more. But these are, this is the Doc Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. I love this stuff. I wish it comes out in a bigger size again. This bottle is $45 and I was able to get it for half the price when Ulta had their 21 days of beauty. And I find that this is really good. Like this has become one of my favorites to remove my makeup. Now, I can bring this little thing is now and I still have the same container <laughs> this is the Cantu detangler for kids love this stuff for London's hair um I do want to try something else because she's getting older and her hair is just getting thicker and longer I have yet to try anything that's a good detangler yet so I'm waiting but this I will continue to purchase she has her last bottle left that I'm using up body washes the twins we have these on auto delivery, as I've said on Amazon. This is the Cetaphil Ultra Body Wash. This is the one for, it's for sensitive dry skin and it's fragrance free. The twin, Caleb has eczema, London just has sensitive skin because she's a girl. And hands down, this is the only body wash. I'm so afraid to switch them over to like another brand because I just find this is the only thing that does good for their skin. And you know with kids, you just never know. So it's kind of like stick with what works. This, I am so proud of myself. I'm actually on my second container of this. This is the Neo Cell Super Collagen Powder. I use one scoop of this in my coffee and I may do it like twice, two to three times a week. Um, but I don't, I, and now with me being home for a while, I'll do this like every other day. I'll still do it two or three times a week, but I love this stuff. I got it, I get mine on Amazon. I've seen that the prices in store are still the same prices as Amazon. The one I'm currently using is a French vanilla flavor, but honestly, I'm actually going to go back to the unflavored. I find with the French vanilla, it's very vanilla. Like you don't need creamer in your coffee if you're going to do that. But this has been helping a lot. I don't know if it's... I've seen improvements as far as like the strengthening of my nails and it's supposed to help with your skin, your joints and everything. 
I really like this stuff. If you definitely want to look for something that you could throw in like a drink, I, I prefer it in my hot drinks more so than my cold drinks. But you only need one scoop of this. Hurry up and mix it so it doesn't clump up because it will clump up and it's so good. So definitely try it out. They do have gummies and all kinds of stuff. I'll post a link from the Amazon down below for you guys. Wipes, you guys know, hands down, I, me and my wipes. So these are the Kirkland brand wipes. I gotta give it up to Kirkland. I will be buying these again because I was a little skeptical because they didn't change the packaging, they didn't change everything. These have my cellar water in and girl, these do good. You only need a, one of these and they do really good. So if you're at Costco, yeah, I got mine at Costco. Definitely get these. You spend $11.99 and you get, I think, over 800 wipes or something. They also have travel. They include like two travel packs in these, but these are really, really good. So these are definitely a repurchase. Hair oil. You guys have heard me talk about the hair razor here on YouTube. She also has Instagram. I'll post all her links down below. This is the hair razor hair and skin oil. So good on my hair. Oh my God. So good. I had some postpartum like thinning areas up here. And my stylist just recently said, I don't know if it's the oil she thinks it is she was like but that little pixie area is starting to really grow so she commends me for definitely keeping my oil my hair oiled and i really believe that it's this because i've been doing this and using this product since i bought it and i will say i'm on my second bottle and i'm gonna purchase some more it's 25 dollars for one bottle or two for 40 so i highly highly recommend if you do not like to oil your hair as much or maintain your hair like i'm really not a hair person so I really just be like, just tell me one, two products that I can use and that's it. This does it. Like you guys have seen me. If you follow me on IG, you guys have seen me use this with my hair pin curl. I can go in at night and I'll just drop the oil through my hair and it works so, so good. So definitely highly hands down a repurchase. Now another foaming wash, another raspberry tangerine. I purchased, now let me tell you a backstory for this. So the twins bathroom, I started decorating. One of their, their pumps is actually a foaming pump. So I love that because now brands are coming out with actual pumps for your hand soap. And instead of a liquid form, it's a foam. So I was able to pour this into their new bath pump and it's foaming and it still pumps out foam, which is so good for me. So I really do like that. Now, Something I am going to purchase for London again because I could tell a difference with the current shampoo that I'm using versus this one. This is the Aussie Miracle Moist Shampoo. This has avocado and Australia jojoba oil. I love this stuff for her hair. I had to put it back on our Walmart wish list as a like get it when we get very, very low. But Homegirl got so many other hair care products in there. I'm trying to use up, but this one is good. I love the three minute miracle conditioner, deep conditioner, and I love this one. This one was one of those spur of the moments. I just need to buy it because I needed some shampoo at the time for her hair and I didn't have any. And I have loved this. Every time I wash her hair, I've compared it to this and her hair just finger combs so good. It it's good like for it and i'm like this is an aussie brand caleb's hair it's like something about their hair that just it's just a natural shine after i wash her hair and you guys know london has very very thick hair so this hands down i was like uh this is not like the aussie like everything i've been comparing is to the aussie i can rinse her hair out with this shampoo it becomes natural shine i can finger comb her hair out I don't have any issues when I use this brand on her hair. So I'm learning more and more as I find products that are working that I'm just gonna only stick to those products. I would love to get down to just one shampoo, two conditioners probably, and that's it. Like if I can just get down to the basics of her stuff, I would be so happy and I'm like literally finding what works for it. And this is definitely at the top of the list. Oh, got a wrapper. Does anybody ever keep these? Like when you get them? Because you just never know what you may use it for. Um, Something that I will continue to use. My stylist has used it on my hair. I use this on my hair. This is the Redken um, Extreme Anti-Snap. It's an anti-breakage leave-in treatment for distressed hair. Because you guys know I have color-treated perm short hair. Color-treated already one. 
I do get a perm in my hair, so I use this. When I'm at home and I'm maintaining my hair on its own, I use this. My stylist puts this in my hair. I only buy the travel size because I don't need to use it a lot, but I know when I definitely need to use it. Like when I get my perm and color touched up, girl, I apply this and we like we put it in my hair because it's just like it's an anti-snap. Like you leave it on your hair for like 10 minutes, rinse it out, but I love it. And I find that things that are working, it's good. I don't have a problem buying the travel sizes because I don't use it a lot, so I don't plan to buy a full size. But the anti snap, really good. Some more baby wipes. So we got two, five, four, five, six. Six baby wipes. Here in London. <laughs> All right, so the Bath and Body Works uh, Sleep uh, Lavender and Cedarwood. I purchased some more of these because now that I got that new tub, girl, I've been used taking baths like crazy. But Bath and Body Works was doing some type of sale, so I was like, I had no, that's what it was. I had like five rewards that were ending by the end of March, and I was like, um, I'm not about to come up in here and shop with y'all like that. So because they were equal up to sixteen fifty, I used three of my rewards to purchase more of these. So I did purchase like a lavender. I purchased two lavender and one sleep. I do like these because of just the smell, but other than that, I'm like, it was free. That was it. So that's why I got it some more. But these are really, really good. I've used these for a couple of years. Because I remember I used to buy these when we would go travel to Vegas. And they were so good. Um, A candle. This is from Bath & Barbara's Lands of Sweets. It's a blueberry sugar. And yeah. Uh, it was a holiday candle. No. Mm, 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 mm. This is something that was just old. I never tried it out. I got it for like two dollars never tried out from sephora i can't even tell you if it works it was this is the sephora oil and gel lipstick remover this was supposed to help remember when matte lipstick first first came out and we were hard it was like so hard to take them off this is what that was for honestly this has just been sitting here london found it and i was like i have never ever used this i don't know how long it's been here it's been here for years and i've been just taking it and taking it and never used it i can't tell y'all if this works and i don't even know if they sell it anymore but i know i think i've had friends that have used it and said it works but if it's available i'm just not going to even repurchase it was one of those things i want to try it and never used it um let's see some chapsticks this is the joe malone oh my god joe malone is so expensive but i like it um one of the things that is on my list and style by casanova man she's got me wanting a candle now from joe malone but you guys know i purchased the joe malone fragrance during the sephora fall sale so i'm definitely probably gonna purchase a candle i don't know but this is the poppies and barley the Jo Malone scents are really good, but buy them during the sale only. Like, that's the best thing I can recommend. Like, know what your smells are, put them on your wish list, buy them during the sale. If you can get a sample like this, like me, do that too. Um, This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Whip Body Balm. This is for dry and extra dry skin. We, I completely used this up. This was really good really really good against my skin i have the hand cream back there and the hand cream is really good especially like right now you're constantly washing your hands you're doing all this stuff it melts into your skin so i'm definitely gonna purchase the actual pump because i like i'm more of a pump girl putting your hands in here and doing all that it's fine but i like pumps so i'm definitely gonna purchase this size but in a pump form now you guys know I have talked about this before, the Mayels Mint Almond Oil. When they did their Black Friday sale, everything was $5. I purchased, I think, two of them and we're almost out. So I'm, I use this for London's hair. I really don't use it on my hair. I use it more so on her hair as her uh, part of her like TLC for natural hair. I love this stuff. It's regular price. $12 at Target so I definitely this is like a staple in her hair care routine for me so for this Black Friday I already know I need to probably purchase four or keep like a, a huge amount my husband loves this on his hair we put it on Caleb's hair this is just like one of those you gotta have it um something I will give a break to and I think I actually have another one this is the Clinique makeup brush cleanser you guys know I love this stuff it's $18 I get mine at Macy's but I need to give a break to it I think I have one more and after that I won't I'll give myself a break I'm not gonna plan to repurchase this for a while I've been using it for so many years that now I'm just like finding other things that works 
that are still good and it's like okay you're good i like you i've used you for years but now i'm gonna move on to something else um let's see the briogeo do not i've heard the glam twins talk about this i've heard um ebony curls talk about this but i wasn't a fan of it it didn't do anything that wowed me to purchase it this is the briogeo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask i didn't like it honestly i didn't like I didn't like anything about it. Like it didn't do anything to wow me. Um, I found that I had to work more with my hair. Yes. Can I finish? You want makeup? Yeah. Okay. When I get done, then I'm gonna do your makeup. Okay. 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 Not right now. I'm almost done. Look, look, look. Bubby, yes. you have eyes. You like my eyes? Yes. Yeah. You got pink eyes. Um, a little bit of pink. What other colors do I have on my eyes? Tell me. I want to get pink you too. Do you Can see? Can we show you how to do it? You want me to show you how I did my makeup? Yeah. All right. So a few other things. This is the Elf Solid Brush Cleanser. You guys know I've used this. Love it. Hands down. <sighs> I think I need to purchase some more, but so far this has been so good. Something else, this, I will not be using no more. I do not recommend, this, it just, you use it and it dissolves so quick compared to the e.l.f. And this is the Ultra Brush Cleanser. I usually used to get these when they were buy two, get two for free. But I find that, like, I think you only get like two uses out of this if you're doing like full face. And I mean like full face like this, like, here's all my brushes that I need to clean. And when I tell you guys, like, I can do two weeks of these and literally this brush cleanser would be done. So, I'm, I just stopped repurchasing this because I was like, why am I spending $20 versus $4 for the e.l.f. And I get more, more longevity and more bang. Um, I am so happy. Flower bomb. I am, I have like a little bit left, but honestly, I'm not going to even finish it. I've had this for years. I got this at the outlet when the craze of everybody had to have Flower Bomb. Flower Bomb was the hit. And I spent $120 for this big old bottle at the outlets. And I was just, it was like you could not find it anywhere. So my husband was like, just grab it. When I tell you guys I'm so done with this fragrance, I was just like, Lord, thank you, Jesus. I am so done because I've had this for too long. And this was a goal to finish it. I was just like, yo, I love the smell. Don't get me wrong. I still like the smell of it. But when I tell you guys that this was the reason why I was like, girl, if you don't shake down your fragrance collection. Because there's no way you're going to finish these big bottles. And this is three and a half size. So I now only purchase one ounce sizes. Because, I mean, come on. Unless you really, really like it, why would you still even purchase three ounces? Now, a concealer that I've used, and I and I found that I actually have like a couple of backups. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealers. And this was probably the first one I purchased when I wanted to try out Makeup Revolution. I'm in the shade C13. I think I have like two or three backups of these. This is a really good concealer. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I love this concealer. This one would probably be in my top five of favorite concealers. I get mine at Ulta. When Ulta does like buy two, get one free, that's the best time to buy Makeup Revolution. Um, toupees. This is the Colgate Optic White. We have been doing charcoal toupees in my house. This is one of our like favorite toupees. My husband's more picky about toupees. Lately, I've been all about that charcoal toupees life. Um, and I'm not really caring about, I'm like, long as it works and it's supposed to do what it does. So this one is one of his favorites. So I continue to purchase it. Um, let's see. This is the Crest 3D white strips. I have been starting to use these because I still have a ton of these. And I definitely, as you guys know, I've had retainers, I've had braces, all that. But my teeth, I would like to be a little bit more whiter than what it is. Um, so far, no cavity. So this is good. I find that when you do put it at the bottom, it may budge and move. So make sure that when you put this, your teeth are really dry or your mouth is dry and then apply it. And it says leave it on for like 30 minutes. Um, let's see. We do have some fragrances and then we are done. The first one is, what is this one? Oh, it says it's not a perfume. Oh, Ju by Juliet. So this is Juliet has a gun. No, I didn't like it. 
this one is the kalani rolling in love i didn't like this one <laughs> this oh my kills midnight recovery oil i have a couple of these i had a friend that worked at kills and she gave me so many of these so this is the first one i have finished up and i really do like this stuff i don't use it as often as i should but i could tell when i do want to just do an oil on my face this is good um let's see this oh so I did use Scentbird for a while, maybe sometime end of last year, right before my travel started to happen. And I purchased the Kat Von D Saints. This, mm -mm. I, didn't, I find that I'm not, like, I'm not liking everything. This is the Joe Malone and this is the Nectar Blossom and Honey. Good. For some reason, we know we're Joe Malone. We know I will be purchasing some more Joe Malone. This one is the My Bearberry Blush. This was the reason why I purchased one during the fall sale. My Bearberry Blush, hands down, is good. So that is it for this empties video. The back, this is gone, gone, gone. I don't know if I want to change this up. I pretty much kind of like this because it absorbs the oil and everything and it's clean. You guys can see it's all bleached in there. But thank you for all the support regarding all my videos. My niece, she loved her video. She did leave a comment and she wanted to definitely thank you guys for all the love and support with her video. She just wanted me to record her a video. So she feels so special for that. And that was just a quick impromptu. Thank you guys for everything. Don't forget to comment, like, love, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.